Today I'd like to introduce Anat Brooke. Anat Brooke has been volunteering for the women's room for 10 years. Aside from coming in and wanting to organize and clean our area just for our guests to have a nice place to come in and relax in, she also loves to sit down with our guests, have nice conversations with them, or she likes to facilitate arts and crafts projects just to build community and to make them feel special. Aside from all that, during the pandemic, Anat Brooke has been cooking gourmet meals every week for our guests. Our guests just rave at how delicious her food is. They, one of our guests has said that they feel all the love that she puts into her, her cooking just for them. With all this, I'd like for you to please join me in honoring Anat Brooke as this year's individual honoree for Jazz on the Screen 2.0. I was reading uh, an article in a local newspaper talking about the women's room and it just called me. I mean, there was no doubt that this is a place for me. I was a, a preschool teacher before and I retired and then I knew that I still have a lot to give and wanted to do it. And when I first came and the first interaction with who then was the head of the women's room. And the feeling that this is so important, it just, I would say, increased my level of awareness. And it's interesting because you hear now people saying, especially here in LA, they're saying, there's so many homeless here. They're everywhere. They were here, maybe not in this capacity and numbers, but they were here and people were not aware. And I have to admit that I was not as aware before coming here. My usual uh, activity here or volunteering here was um, once a week I would come and be with the women. I would serve food, I would sit in and talk with them. I would do, because I love art, I would do art activities. And then the pandemic hit. And it was very hard. And it's very hard for me not to be present here. And because I love to cook, I, every, every week I will bring something for them, which they love. I feel that there are guests in my house. And that's what this food is, the food that I will serve to my guests in my house. It might be the only, you know, hot home-cooked meal that they will have either that day or for the whole week. I think that what we do here, and I would say in the women's room, is the listening listening to the women's stories and realizing that we all have a story. We all have something to tell and to share. And having this safe place here for the women to come, and it, it doesn't happen in one day, it is increasingly where you see a woman comes and, and she doesn't trust other people and she's in herself and little by little she opens up and share her experience and this is the most enriching experience that i have had so this is this is incredible being part of this organization for me i want to read something that uh, a very smart uh, um, known rabbi said before. And uh, the name of the rabbi is Rabbi Hillel. And he says, if I'm not for myself, who am I? If I'm not for others, what am I? And if not now, when? And I think that this is something that we all need to think about it because we all have a gift inside of us. But if we keep it to ourselves, what is it? So we need to share it with others. And 
now it's the time. Don't say later, just do it. And the uh, satisfaction that you will have within yourself while giving to others will be greater than you can ever imagine.